All right, we want to check in with Katie and talk about our weather. It is our first uh, full weekend in November, yes. and it feels like it. it it's wet and yeah. cool <laughs> out right now. Very wet camera here in Vancouver at that Mary Hill Wine Retasting Room and Bistro. And that round of showers, the first of the two waves that we're expecting tonight, has definitely hit the coast and now the metro and valleys. Temperatures are on the cooler side, both along the coast and through the metro and valleys, and then even cooler when you head out the gorge and into the eastern part of the state. So much so that they're at least a couple of degrees cooler than the same time yesterday, but not as cool as we were a few days ago. We have warmed a bit, just not back up to anything that would be at average. Being very consistent with the temperatures as we go into the night, and you'll notice we have a wet, a damp, and a wet, and a damp, and that's because the showers are coming in two waves. We have two rain bands that are moving through. There will be a break between each of these and then as the showers taper off overnight. So there will be a moment where you can go out and maybe not need a rain jacket like our friend Tater here, but you would definitely have some damp paws as the showers had just moved through. Then tomorrow morning, there is a morning shower chance. Temperatures will be cool. There will be more breaks in the clouds than we had today. In fact, at points, areas on the west side of the I-5 corridor will be completely clear of the clouds. This is the first wave of showers that I was just mentioning to you. Here's the break before the second wave comes through. This is right around 7 o'clock. You'll notice snow up at the mountains and cloudy skies. Get to about 9, 9 o'clock or so, and you'll notice showers back. That lasts until about 12 a.m., and then once we get into Sunday, a few chances of showers here. By 11 o'clock, a majority of the cloud cover along the Cascades and the West Slopes. Quite a bit of sunshine on the the east or the west side of the Cascades and then look here you'll notice just a few shower chances by the time we get to the middle of the afternoon then that's it quite a bit of the region will remain dry we get into Monday and that's your next round of precipitation totals not too much even though you see those showers coming and going anywhere from a tenth to about a quarter of an inch till we get to tomorrow when those showers should be done the next three days we're looking at something where there's a break and then another round that Monday that we talked about the light rain so we can see those totals getting up to about a half inch for the next three days tomorrow will be slightly warmer with all of those sun breaks that we're talking about in central Oregon there will be a chance for some showers mixed precipitation again for that morning time when you head farther out to the east. Seven day forecast has more sunshine and less cloud cover and rain than anything else. But just keep in mind Sunday, Monday, Tuesday all have a chance for showers, sunny and warmer back to average Wednesday through Friday and then a return of a chance for showers and temperatures back to the mid 50s for next Saturday. Bonnie. All right, Katie, thank you.